Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> we are trying something new today. If you are new here, my name's Brianna and I'm a third grade teacher in North Carolina. And I'm getting ready for church. By trying something new, I mean this outfit. I think it looks better as a whole. It just looks weird right now and with no makeup. So we gotta get some makeup on. I thought I would take y'all through a day in my weekend life. I'll probably do some major planning for school actually because yesterday I did a ton of like stuff around the house, ran some errands. I need to get back in the groove of things with snow. If you missed my last video, go ahead and watch that because oh my. We've been out of school for some time and I feel like it's gonna mess up our rhythm. We're also supposed to potentially get some snow again this week and we're also supposed to have our testing. So I really have to get back into a good routine with teaching because <sighs> your girl is all out of sorts. Um, with it being the end of the quarter, I've had to brush with the snow days to get unfinished work done grades in how does how do grades work in y'all school like we have to have three major grades in math three major grades in reading obviously i have a ton of minor grades i think we only need five but i have more than that our majors are our tests or our projects and then we need four minors in science and four minors in social studies how do grades work for y'all because i was missing two majors for math just the way the snow fell so we took our final test for the quarter on Friday. They also had to do a project, which I was going to give them for their remote learning, but I then the school ran out of paper and so I couldn't get it together and it was just, oh my goodness. All right, I think I'm going to jump off here and jump on Instagram Live and just chat with y'all while I finish getting ready, but the vlog will continue. Hey y'all, so. I just got home from church. Haggy here is trying to steal my subway. <laughs> I picked up some subway for lunch and I got a mega tea. Have you ever had a mega tea? Apparently, it's like all natural energy, one gram of sugar. That is not from Subway, that is from a nutrition place next door. So the first thing I did to get me started is plugged in my plans for next week. We have off tomorrow on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, of course, and then we were supposed to have our quarter work day on Tuesday, but because of the snow days, it was pushed to Thursday, which makes the week all wonky again, but we're going to push through. So I plugged in my math and reading plans. We're working on main idea and reading, and we're working on two-step word problems in math. However, we just took a test on area and perimeter in math. So my small groups up until the 28th here, because that's when our math check-in is, need to be remediating children on that, along with extra review of previous skills since this is a second quarter check-in. So I need to pull, figure out which kids need support in what, so I'm going to look at previous data, and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. For reading, I'm going to look at which students need support on test taking strategies, and I'm going to work on some portfolio passages with them when I can, but it's hard because our reading lesson is also so heavy. Yeah, I need to group my kids and we'll go from there. So I've made this objectives tracker this year on Google Sheets and it has my students' names over here and then I did it standard by standard and I broke down the standards into like their little substandards or just certain skills that we teach within that standard and this is for math and so I need to go through and update this. Patterns, we took a test on, so I need to go back and, or like a quiz or something. I guess I just never input the data. And then I update this also based on our weekly spiral review. We do morning work, which spirals through this. So that's where I get a lot of the rounding, the addition, subtraction, 
um, and things like that. So this is what our spiral review looks like. It's just from Carson Delosa and it has four days on the front and then a Friday assessment, which is why I love it. And as you can see, I check this or my assistant checks this for my kids every morning. So then we can assist them with anything they're struggling with. And then by Friday, everything that was reviewed throughout the week is then graded. So this is where I collect that data and I could see who's struggling in certain skills still. And if you've been a long time follower, I used to use this so meticulously on my students' intervention time, which I do definitely want to get back into. Alrighty, so I broke out good old good note with my iPad. And this is mailing call from Miss Calls Campers planner. Uh, so shout out to her, I'll link it down below. But I'm on the notes page and I wrote out all the standards that are going to be on the upcoming state test for math. I kept this one up here. Boy A is two-step word problems, which is what I am actually teaching the next two weeks. And then I have multiplication and division word problems, multiplication and division unknown numbers, uh, multiplying by multiples of 10, and then area and perimeter. So now I'm going to take all my notes and stuff and put my kids under these categories to basically make small groups for the week. And then I think what I want to do is focus on reviewing one standard a day, but for my students who have been successful with it before, I'm just going to give them like task cards or like an IXL skill or a freckle assignment to work on just to make sure I know that they are good to go. So when I'm teaching, I've been trying something a little bit more explicit this year with how I'm collecting data, specifically in math. I write the standard, I break it down just like I do on my Excel sheet. S means small group needed, H means I helped them out, and then I have room for notes so that I know what they were getting wrong, and I either make note of this while I'm walking around while they're working on whiteboards and we have problems on the board, or when I check over their just independent work every day, whether I take it for a grade or not, I will make a note of what in that skill they are specifically struggling with. So I use this to help me as well. I love this, but it's almost slightly overwhelming. Granted, it's really simple for me to go through and see like all at once, okay, like who needs support, like who has checks and everything and who doesn't. And I kind of got into the habit of writing an H if they just needed like some notes because they made a little mistake. The problem right now is I didn't consistently use it daily. So now I have so much to go back on. Like I took the notes but I didn't do anything with them along the way. You know, we learn as we go, it's okay. For a lot of my kids, missed number in the word problem, misread the word problem, they forgot about the square, adding in head, miscalculating. They know the steps. A lot of them are just rushing, so that's very helpful. But I really enjoy this data. I will put this form on my TPT. I think I will also link my spreadsheet on Excel. It'll have you make a copy and then you can play around with it how you need it to work best. All right, y'all, it is way later. I was just editing this video and I definitely don't want to make them too long. So I am going to end this here. I have looked over my data. I've given y'all some information on how I go about collecting it and reviewing it, I guess analyzing it, I could say. And now tomorrow I will get more into the small group planning with it. So if you want to join me in small group planning, then make sure you're subscribed, make sure you stick around, make sure you're following me on Instagram. All my links will be down below and anything that I talked about here that I have a link to to share with y'all will be there as well. So check it out. And if you have any data collecting ideas, please, please, please always leave them in the comments. This is a place for everyone to share. So I will see y'all in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.